Our first skater represents Peru, 16-year-old Sara Sofria Bravo, first Junior Grand Prix event. Nerves and excitement to be here in Yarvin at the first Junior Grand Prix competition for Sara. Skating to Ain't It Funny by Jennifer Lopez. Sara Zafrio Bravo representing Peru and so much to I admire, I respected the musical interpretation, the presentation, the understanding of even the vocal lyrics within it. But of course Sara will be frustrated that there were mistakes made on relatively easy elements for her. Yeah, no, the axle obviously popped, that was disappointing. But it comes back with the double flip, double toe and the double lutz, that was well done. And then just sort of lost balance a little bit on the spins, has a very straight and strong back. and so. There wasn't a lot of knee action going mm. into spins. We'll look at that a little bit later. This just popped mm. open right away. Didn't t convert into rotation, but just continues on. Comes down the ice right away. Double flip, turns that all the way into double toe loop. Good. And then the double lutz. Backs up straight up over the pick. Gets all the way around into a twizzle. So really good that she came back with that. Mm. But watch here. Not a lot of knee bend in this. The leg gets up. Beautiful position. Goes to grab the blade and loses the balance as it gets shifted, comes out of that spin, that camel spin is in at zero, and then here's the entrance to the combination spin oh and just I loses the balance again. Really unfortunate. But because I heard back camels are beautiful, but, mm. but lost balance today. Yeah, and Sara will proudly fly the flag for Peruvian skating, and there are plans in place for a big multi-million dollar uh, ice rink to be built there and so hopefully she'll be the next generation of skates that will be able to exploit that but for now she's working in Murano with a great coaching staff who what I love is the the care and the compassion yeah well you know what that comes with putting things in perspective going into the competition mm. and I think that the coach has done that 
Um, and so, Hazara. So they kind of know where they're at. Okay, unfortunate with the mistakes, but they came, came here for its experience, and that's what they've got. And, you know, we've talked so often about those that are in their first Junior Grand Prix. For Sarah, competitive experience doesn't even have competitive, much competitive experience at all. So, you know, a huge learning experience and opportunity. Yeah, and in moments like this, you say, uh, excuse me, can I go back out and do this again? Yeah. Can I try it again? Because you want to leave the ice, even if the score is way different, of course. You're not at the same level as the top skaters. But you want to skate your best. Mm. And you know what? If she went out there, she... Oh, that camel spin would be fine. Yep, no problem. Absolutely fine. Yeah. So there's a, a regroup to be had ahead of the free skate. Yeah, and you know, out of the seven elements, now we have not seen a lot of reviews. Technical panel no. have not been doing a lot of reviews. In this case, there are four reviews out of the seven elements. So, but this has been unusually a clean program in regard to the clarity by which the athletes are performing, mm. even or making mistakes. So it makes it clear that the technical panel is not having to go dive into every element for scrutinize. You know, yeah, exactly. And you can see Katrina just acknowledging that jacket with Peru on it and that is something to be so proud of the Peruvian judge was explaining that the rink in Lima is so small and totally different opportunity for those skaters than that for some of the others yeah. short program score 20.88 and that'll put Sarah currently into 23rd place <laughs> 